गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज टेक आउट दिस पेज नंबर सिक्सटीन पेज नंबर सिक्सटीन यूनिट नंबर थ्री एंड लेसन नंबर थ्री रीडिंग द शो पार्ट वन we are uh, going to start the reading of chapter the show and this is uh, lesson number 3 is part 1 of this chapter today we will do reading and uh, words meaning and word sentences yes filza dj can i uh, read this chapter okay start reading Willem and his best friend. Willem and his best here. friend. Start from here. Start from here, Filza. First of all, read the text and answer the question. The questions are given. After reading the text, uh, I will question you, and you will answer me. So listen to the reading very carefully. यहाँ से पढ़े How did William and his friend start from here? How did William and his friend plan to collect money? We were they successful? William and his best friend Henry, who was twelve, were mem members of the uh, society of society of Leos and society of teachers. Uh, society of Leos a uh, school. A school band gang, boy. A school boy gang, gang the uh, outlaws used to meet in, used to meet in the old barn, barn, uh, on half holiday, um, holidays on uh, on or Sunday after uh, noons and make plans. Let's buy some balls. And arrows. those who have joined so, late, Peter, this Milam. is page number sixteen. Then, we, then, then we can go out to shoot things like bird and chickens, just like real outlaws. Where are we going to get these bows and arrow? Ask Harry. Henry. Henry. We haven't Henry. got. Enough money to buy them, Henry. We haven't get enough money to buy them. They, they, they are too uh, expensive for us. Then we need to collect some more money," said Willem, who usually bad bright ideas. Well, now we, uh, we could, uh, we could. Now we. Where are you? <coughs> Where are you doing reading, beta? Teacher, I am on the um, third paragraph. We haven't. We Where are we going to show. get these bows and arrows? Just wait a second, Filza. Yes, Usman, unmute yourself. Hello, Usman. जब मैंने लेट ज्वाइन किया तो टीचर हम कहाँ से पढ़ रहे हैं? We are on page number sixteen, or हम we are on third paragraph. Teacher? Yes. किधर किधर हैं हम लोग? Beta, from here uh, we will do reading. From here, uh, where are we going to get these bows and arrows? The um, third paragraph. Yes. Where are we going to get this? Yes, bows? from here. Okay. Okay. Okay, Filza, start reading from here. Third paragraph. Where are we going to get these bows and arrows? Start from here. Pinta. Did you can I read? Who is this? Did you can I read? Usman, okay, you start the reading. Then, then. 
Where are we going to get these bows and arrows? Asked asked Henry. We haven't got enough money to buy them. They are too expensive for us. Wait, try now. We will do a show. Get some animals and and charge your friends money for looking at them, like like at the zoo. The other narrates. When the well, then he continued, well, have a show and get enough money to buy a boat and arrow. We will change the show for next Friday after. Willem, okay, now this is a story. Him. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, this is a story about two friends, William and Henry. They are... Uh, planning to collect some money for to buy bows and arrows so they have planned uh, they are the members of uh, society of outlaws school boy gang outlaws are those persons who broke the laws so they are one of those gang who breaks the laws in the schools so now they want to buy a uh, arrow and bows but they don't have enough money so that they can shoot chickens and birds so um, what they do they plan to uh, have a show in which they will bring some animals and uh, they will uh, take their friends there and they will get money from their friends for seeing that show so from that money they will buy bows and arrows to kill or shoot birds like chickens so let's see what happens next uh, after collecting some more money okay uh, let's uh, let, let, yes fatma you can do the reading can i can i read after fatma who is this you haven't done uh, reading yeah. Teacher? Yes. Can I read? Ek, but better wait a minute, na? Okay. okay, Fatma, you will do the reading now. Unmute yourself. Every Sunday afternoon, William's mother visited a friend and his father took a long afternoon nap. When Sunday came, William quietly No, no, you are reading from here, not from here. Start from here. Uh, well then? No, where, from here. Where are we going to get these bows and arrows? Where are we going to get these bows and arrows? asked Henry. We haven't got enough money to buy them. They're too expensive for us. Then we need to collect some more money, said William, who usually has bright ideas. Wait, I know. We could do a show. Get some animals and charge our friends money for looking at them. Look at like at the zoo. The so other wait, okay, wait. So now see. What they are doing, they are saying that bows and arrows are very expensive. We can't buy them. So what they plan, uh, Williams uh, has some bright ideas. He had some bright ideas sometimes. Now he is planning to have a show about animals. They will get some animals and they will charge their friends. Like when you go uh, to zoo, when you visit zoo, you pay some money at the ticket counter while entering the zoo so uh, that you can see the animals so like that they are planning something the show like that they will uh, bring some animals from somewhere and then they will call their friends to uh, have a look at those animals and they will charge money from them by that they will collect some money for bows and arrows now let's see what happens at the end of the chapter whether they are successful in collecting money or not so listen to the reading very carefully you will have to answer me whether they were successful or not okay start reading well then, he continued, we'll have a show and get enough money to buy bows and arrows. We'll arrange the show for next Sunday afternoon. William returned home for tea with his parents and Aunt Emily. Aunt Emily was a tall lady 
who had been recovering from a slight cold for about two years. She spent her days eating and sleeping. She had not yet mentioned a date for her leaving, which made William's father anxious. It will be a long, long time before I'm better, said Aunt Emily, as she took a seventh piece of bread and butter and another piece of cake, please. William, uh, and another piece of cake, please, William. Then we'll go, then I'll go upstairs and have a rest. Every okay, Sunday stop. Okay, now what happens when William returns uh, at home for tea with his parents and Aunt Emily? She's a tall lady and she's very ill since for uh, two years and she's staying at uh, William's home, but she spent his days just by eating and sleeping. And her uh, and William's father is not happy with that, that she's staying here and just she's she kept eating bread and butter and cheese and cakes. And she says, uh, and she asks William to pass another cake, uh, another piece of cake. And then she says she will go upstairs and have some rest. And she does nothing and just she just stay and eat there. So William's father is not happy with that. He's very anxious that why she's staying here for too long. It's been two years that he's she is sick, and she's staying with them. Now look, just uh, we will see what happens next. Okay, who will do the next reading? Abdullah. Okay, yes, Alifia, you do the reading. Alifia, start from Sunday here. Huh? Every Sunday afternoon, William, William's mother visited a friend and his father look, took a long afternoon nap. When Sunday come, came, big William quickly, quietly, quietly asked his mother with, with weather, uh, weather, 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 whether he could have a few friends in his room for the afternoon. Uh, the outlaws that that prepared prepared all, the outlaws the outlaws had prepared the prepared, the prepared all the exhibits all the all the exhibits of all the shop and by 2.30 all 2.30 with, 2.30 ready for for each exhibit, exhibit. The exhibit really William William that had had at uh, he had uh, had um, had bright written written a card with all the facts up on upon it yes okay now what happens uh, every sunday uh, in every sunday afternoon william's mother visited his her friend and his father took a long nap in the afternoon so one sunday william asked her mother asked his mother that whether he could have his friends or uh, in his room but his mother does not know what he is planning to do and what he is going to do so she agrees that uh, he is allowed to bring his friends at home now they are the outlaws, that means the persons who breaks the laws and these boys are the outlaws of the society, they always break the rules. So they had prepared an exhibition exhibit, that means a public display, display of the artwork or uh, an exhibition of uh, anything. So uh, by the 2.30, all of his friends uh, 
came come to his place and william had written a card with all the facts upon it now what are those facts facts kya hote hain what are facts we have read this in a class 4 facts and opinion facts mean the things which are uh, authentic and real which we cannot deny so what are these facts which he had written on the card yes alivia read it, read it okay there was a large white rat painted uh, in blue and pink pink stripes stripes There was a cat shut into a cat basket, which it was six scratching, scratching angrily. That is cat scratching angrily with the its it, claws. Its clothes. There was. वो अपने पंजों के साथ बहुत गुस्से से उस बास्केट को स्क्रैच कर रही थी. The cat which was shut in the cat basket. Just claw, uh, jo, uh, with uh, with its claws. 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 Its panje kya hote hain? Yes, panje. The the hand of the uh, cat. The sharp hand. The sharp with sharp nails. When the cat takes out its uh, nails out of its hands, so that is the uh, that is we call claw. There yes, was next a, point. There was a tall giant on out low out low or uh, on the back of other their large combined combined body, body. combined body with uh, there Wrapped was. In. wrapped in a large sheet there uh, there was a black fox black first fox fur did the fox fur hai na yes fox fur did you watch the fur beta fox ki jo skin hoti hai jo uske upar fur laga hota hai the hairs on it that is called fur which had which had belonged 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 to william grandmother it was laid on the floor as other floor floor has as though it was floor dot as though it was asleep it, it was asleep there was now these all the things are not real so he had put a black fox fur of his grandmother on the floor that uh, that looks like as if sheep is sleeping and uh, the, and the, there was a tall giant that was not real giant but one outclaw that one boy was on another boy and their bodies was combined and they were wrapped in a large sheet that was that looks like a tall giant but it was not a giant in real the fox fur was put in on the floor but it was not a sheep in real it was a it was just a fox fur of his grandmother so they had played a very uh, false game here they that this show is not based on real animals all these animals are false and lie just to collect money for to collect bows and arrows and to shoot animals and birds and chickens so let's see what happens next last point did the last point there was henry henry small pet dog henry had painted it blue now there was a uh, uh, small pet dog of henry and he had painted it blue Okay, who will do the reading next? Uh, why your cameras are off? Ibrahim, Mahmud, Mahnoor, Motashim, Abdullah, turn on your cameras, everyone.
Abdullah, you do the reading, unmute yourself. Abdullah Ayaz, unmute yourself. Abdullah, start reading. William was the showman from here. I can't hear your voice, Abdullah. Okay, Abdullah, I can't hear your voice, Peter. Ibrahim, you do the reading, Beta. I'll mute yourself. Miss, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, start reading. Miss, from, Miss, from, from the uh, fourth Mr. last William. line, William was a showman. Okay, okay, Miss. William was a showman. He had a he had a dress in a red dressing gown of his father and had uh, made himself a small red mustache from the edges of an old rug. The children climbed onto the garden garden wall, crawled along it, climbed to the uh, climbed to the window of William's bedroom and paid their entrance fee. When they were all seated, William proudly Okay, wait, wait, the, just let me uh, share the another page. Just wait a second. Okay. When they were all seated, William proudly presented the exhibits one by one. This is a uh, the only blue and pink graph in the whole wide world. It lives in China and was bought the, uh, and was brought over especially for the show. And this is a wild design that's holding up the basket with the cat in it, which was which was hissing and spitting. Look, look at look at this wild cat. The 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 fire the fiercest cat the fiercest cat in the in the whole country okay wait stop okay now what happens next that william had dressed himself as a showman he was wearing his father's gown and he had made more statues out of an old rug and the children climbed to the garden wall and crawled along, uh, crawled along it so that no one can see them, and they had paid the entrance fees and entered the entered William's bedroom. Alifia, just wait a second. Let me complete, then I will unmute you. Uh, better, we are on page number seventeen. Page number seventeen. Okay, the the cat he had uh, and the exhibition started and the cat. Uh, and the and the rat he had painted with blue he says this is the only blue and pink rat in the whole world that was a lie and it lives in a china this was also a lie and it was brought over here especially for the show now he's totally totally saying all the uh, lies in front of the children just to collect money and he was holding that basket in which there was a cat. The cat was scratching the basket as we have read previously. So he says, this is a very fierceest cat in the whole country. This is very fierce. This is very angry and very uh, wild cat. Now let's see what happens next. Yes, uh, Alifia, unmute yourself. Alifia. Have we done any written work? No, we haven't done any written work yet. First, we will complete the reading and then. 
just we have left with 10 minutes so alifia will you do the reading Alifia, do the reading. Teacher, from where? After William had introduced from second paragraph on page number 17. William had introduced all that is debates a large to deep road charges yes. coming from the next room. It sounded like like a mighty wind with some low deep thunder. Aunt Emily was having her afternoon play and was snoring. As the audience seemed very interested in Aunt Emily's snoring, William had another bright idea. If they are listening, they should be paying. But why just listen? Maybe they could pay extra in order to visit the snorer next door. William went quickly, quietly into Aunt Emily's bedroom. On the bedside table, he saw her comb, a derby that she usually tied into her own hair, and a glass con containing her false teeth. William came back and quickly wrote notices for this object. The wild woman therapy and the wild woman's teeth. He wrote another notice for Aunt Emily too. The snorer immediately became the most popular exhibit of the afternoon. Children came out of the room and rejoined the back of the QE, spent extra money to revisit the snorer. Suddenly, in the middle of all this, Aunt Emily awoke with a start. Adapted from the show by Richmond Cromston. Okay, now what happens when all the exhibition was introduced? Uh, suddenly, the children heard the noise of snoring, some low, deep thunder voices. Aunt Emily was uh, having a deep uh, afternoon sleep and she was snoring. So audience were listening to it and they were very interested in it. So William thought an idea that why should they listen to the snoring uh, free of cost? So he started to paying off, he started to pay for it as well. And he gave a note that this is a wild woman's hair piece and wild woman's teeth, the artificial teeth of the Aunt, Aunt Emily and her hair piece that she put in her hairs. So he wrote another notice for Aunt Emily too. The snorer, uh, as they came closer to the Aunt Emily's room, suddenly she wakes up in the middle of this and she, uh, Yeah, she just wakes up when uh, the people came closer to her room and they pay extra room, extra money for the for revisit to the snorer. But while they were paying for a uh, revisit to her room, she wakes up suddenly in the start only. So uh, just rethink about this uh, lesson. What is the outcome outcome of this lesson, whether they had uh, collected the money or not? Just underline some words for sentences on your books. First of all, come to page number 16. Come on page number 16. Yes. Pilda. I can't hear you. Teacher, you have WhatsApp. I will send you a sentence. Words. I will send you. But it's better okay, that you teacher. should underline right now. I will tell line number and page number. I will tell you. Just underline these words. Okay. Yes, Fatma, unmute yourself. DJ, will this video be uploaded on YouTube? Yes, it will. Okay, this video will also be uploaded on YouTube uh, and you also have books with you. So once again, go through this reading. And on Friday, I will ask you a question. How did William and his 
spend plan to collect money were they successful or not this is the important question were they successful or not then you will have to answer me first of all uh, this is the first part when we will read the second part we will come to a conclusion second part is on uh, lesson number 5 page number 19 that we will do in our next class after completing the exercise of this chapter so words meaning and word sentences i will send you right now after the class on whatsapp yes filza hello filza teacher this is raise ho gaya tha okay okay Okay, so do you understand your homework is words meaning and word sentences, which I will send you right now. And third thing is you have to go through the reading again, read it very carefully again, and I will ask you were they successful in their uh, collecting money or not. This was the first part, lesson number three, and lesson number five is our second part, which is on page number nineteen, that we will also read. but first of all we have to uh, find out the question which is given at the very first line that i will ask you in the next class okay okay underline the words for sentences on page number 16 line number 7 expensive Page number sixteen, line number seven, expensive. Right after that, uh, the next line. Then we need to collect, underline, collect, expensive, and collect. And in the same line, there is a third word, bright. Then we need to collect some more money. Said William, who usually had bright. Underline, collect, and bright. after that come to the last fifth last line the point there was henry small pet dog henry had painted it blue pet dog small pet underline it these words are four word sentences small pet underline it and the last word is on page number 17 you can see on your screen that is underlined snoring second paragraph fourth line emily is snoring underline it i am repeating the words again expensive collect bright small pet and snoring these are the words for sentences expensive collect bright small pet and snoring please do read the chapter again very carefully and find out the answers of the question given on the first line Take care of yourselves everyone